The United Nations experts said nine of ten states in South Sudan are engulfed in violence with recent violence between the Azandi and the Balanda communities in Tambura resulting in the massacre of more than 100 civilians. Women and children were said to have been raped and sexually assaulted before being killed. At least 80,000 people are said to be displaced. Hundreds of children became separated from their parents. The South Sudan People's Defense Force, SSPDF, and the Sudan People's Liberation Army, in opposition, SPLA IO, are responsible for arming their Zandi and Balanda communities. South Sudan's leaders and political elite are active participants and enablers of this violence. Yasmin Soka, chair of the UN Commission on Human Rights in South Sudan, told the UN's Human Rights Council in Geneva, the SSPDF and the SPLA IO have not commented on the UN report. The South African human rights lawyer said the failure to establish a joint army command structure had heightened tensions in the country. The Azandi and the Balanda communities have been living peacefully together in the Tambura areas for centuries. Intermarriage was common as a result of the religious and ethnic tolerance. But in July this year, Alfred Futuyo Karaba, the governor of southwestern states, accused four prominent politicians residing in the capital Juba of fermenting the violence in Tambura, an allegation they denied.